Welcome back, Rankers. Um, this week I wanted to tell you a little bit about black hat techniques. Not how to do them, but how to detect them and, and why they're a bad idea. Um, I'm constantly amazed that in Australia that there is bucket loads, it would seem, of SEO companies that want to do black hat. Now, in case you don't know what black hat is, basically it's usually it's, it's a broad term for doing something against Google's terms of service uh, in order to get ranked higher. So you're doing something sneaky, basically. Now, I don't have a problem with that. There's no moral issues with black hat techniques at all. It's just simply a case of it's usually a short-term strategy, and usually you spend the same amount of time and effort trying to use a black hat technique as what it would take to use a, a white hat technique. And people say, oh, is it illegal? Well, no, it's not illegal. It's just short-term short, short, uh, short -term thinking, really. Um, and we've seen many cases and instances of Google booting sites out of their index simply because they don't comply with their terms of service. Now, Google as a company is not going to rank your business if you don't comply with their standards. And some of their standards are presenting one page to Google, to the bots, which is full of you know uh, nice links and nice keywords and all those sorts of things, and then presenting a completely different page to their users. Now, in 2007, we saw both uh, BMW Germany and Ricoh Germany get booted out of the index for doing just this. And But even on a small scale, I want to show you some code today. Now, I'm not going to show you whose code this is, um, but if we just, and this site, we've alerted them to the fact because they wanted a quote from us uh, on doing some SEO. So what we did is we went, we went in and had a look at their site, as we always do, to try to find out, you know, is this a site that we want to handle? And if you can see here, now you, you can see it's in the printing industry, this site. Um, but what's particularly uh, concerning for them uh, is that they've got this, these words over here. Anything in black, by the way, is, is normally what I'm looking at in this um, uh, environment. Usually means that it's, it's on the page, you can see it. And you would, to just have a quick look at this, you would go, oh yeah, those are on the page probably. They're words that we can see because they're not in, in code or anything like that, like uh, say these blue words are. Um, the problem here is, is that we're telling Google essentially that these words are going to be used on the page by the way that the code's written. When in actual fact, is that if we go and check the, uh, the CSS file, which where we find this reference to for reader, and sorry to get a little bit nerdy here, but you need to know, if you're a business owner and someone's doing this to your website, you need to know. So when I see that, I go and have a look at that, um, that particular header, or that particular class, I should say, in the CSS file, we, we're, led, we're told in the CSS file that it's never to display it. So what essentially this, this developer has done, or this SEO company has done to this person's site, is that they're telling Google, hey, look at all these great keywords like stationery and flyers and posters and booklets and cards and digital. But then they preface it all with this particular class here, which basically doesn't get displayed. So, <coughs> excuse me. So that basically means is that they're putting keywords in the code which aren't going to be displayed on the page. Now, at one level, that is black hat technique because you're showing Google something and you're not showing the user other things. Now, we've got another client that we came across as well. And uh, I'm trying, I'm just going to whiz through these so uh, we don't see it. But all these links in this particular site here, we found hidden in the code um, of our client site. And when we uh, approached the web developer to say, look, um, and all those links, by the way, were to external sites, to other sites. And when we approached the developer to say, uh, we need some more work done on this site for our client uh, and your client, they said, well, not until you put all those links back because you've breached our uh, terms of service. It's like, well, that's actually black hat. You're actually linking to other sites um, in the code. Don't do it. And uh, thanks for everybody who's booked for the workshop this week. We'll see you there tomorrow if you've booked. And, um, and we'll uh, see you next week. Thanks very much, Rangers. Bye.